Happy Feast Day of the Immaculate Heart! Do you know why Saturday is the day of our Blessed Mother? Saturday has been traditionally dedicated to Our Lady since around the beginning of the 10th century, and here is why. And these thoughts and descriptions are taken from the writings of Professor Plinio Correa de Oliveira, if you'd like to learn more. The Gospels tell us that after the death of our Lord, the apostles, disciples, and holy women did not believe in the resurrection, even though our Lord had predicted it various times. They didn't lose faith in Jesus, they just lost faith in a resurrection because they didn't fully comprehend it. Professor Plinio says, Indeed, a resurrection is such an extraordinary thing, so opposed to the natural order, that the human mind is not inclined to believe it. Even though our Lord had raised Lazarus from the dead, they had witnessed that miracle, but they didn't realize that the one who had resurrected Lazarus could resurrect himself. How could a man, through his own power, rise from the deep abyss of death and say to his own soul, now re-enter your body and be one with it? This demands a much greater power than the one needed to resurrect a dead man, a thing, normally speaking, that the human mind human mind cannot imagine. We can understand, then, how those who surround Our Lady at the foot of the cross, St. John, the Holy Women, and a few others, such as Nicodemus, would also accompany her to her house in that hour of supreme sorrow. But they did not truly believe that Christ would rise. Our Lady knew and trusted that he would rise from death. The others, not so much. Even though they had a supernatural instinct telling them that the history of our Lord had not yet ended, and that a final word remained to be said, it was only the presence of Our Lady that confirmed them in this instinct, not necessarily their faith in a resurrection. Without this instinct, and without Our Lady, they most likely would have dispersed completely. From the hour that Our Lord died on the cross on Good Friday, until the Sunday of the resurrection, only Our Lady believed in His divinity, and therefore only she had perfect faith. For as St. Paul says, without the resurrection, our faith would be in vain. On that Saturday, therefore, on the whole earth, only she personified the entire Catholic Church. Only she had the full faith. She was the only creature with the complete faith, a most perfect faith, without any shadow of doubt. What an incredible and beautiful thought. Of course she deserves Saturdays and so much more. During her apparitions in Fatima, Our Lady asked that the believers partake in the first Saturday's devotion. To learn more about Our Lady of Fatima, check out our video titled as such in the Apparition Series playlist on our YouTube channel. The first Saturday's devotion is offered in reparation for sins against the Immaculate Heart and in consecration to the Immaculate Heart. It consists of receiving communion, going to confession, praying the rosary, and spending 15 minutes meditating on a mystery of the rosary on the first Saturday of five consecutive months. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize all that. You can check out our website for all of those details and more. Through Mary's messages in Fatima and many other places throughout the world, she tells us that one day her immaculate heart will triumph she will crush the head of the serpent and her heart will serve as a place of refuge for all of her faithful children until then. Therefore, she tells us that consecrating ourselves and our families to her immaculate heart is one of the most powerful and important things we can do during these times. Whether you've done the first Saturday's devotion or not, we invite you to start with us next month and today, We hope you'll join us in praying a prayer of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother. Living a life consecrated to the Immaculate Heart means becoming an apostle of Mary, striving to imitate her virtues, and placing in her hands the flowers of little sacrifices of reparation for the salvation of souls, so that we might strengthen her hand against the attacks of the evil one and hasten the day of the triumph of her Immaculate Heart. To everyone who makes that consecration and sincerely tries to live it, the words of Our Lady to the child Lucia at Fatima would also apply. I will never leave you. My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the way that will lead you to God. 
for this prayer that we're about to pray and more information about consecrating yourself to the Immaculate Heart, please visit our website and click on the section titled The Pantry. Now, let us bow our heads and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Virgin Mary, most powerful Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, in accordance with your wish made known at Fatima, I consecrate myself today to your Immaculate Heart. To you I entrust all that I have, all that I am. Reign over me, dearest Mother, that I may be yours in prosperity, in adversity, in joy, and in sorrow, in health, and in sickness, in life, and in death. I, a faithless sinner, renew and ratify today in thy heart, O Immaculate Mother, the vows of my baptism. I renounce forever Satan, his pomps, and his works, and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ, the incarnate wisdom, to carry my cross after him all the days of my life, and to be more faithful to him than I have ever been before. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, in the presence of all the heavenly court, I choose thee this day for my mother. I deliver and consecrate to thee and to thy immaculate heart as thy child and slave of love, my body and soul, my goods, both interior and exterior, and even the value of all my good actions, past, present, and future, leaving to thee the entire and full right of disposing of me and all that belongs to me, without exception, according to thy good pleasure, for the greater glory of God in time and in eternity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lauren, you always do such a beautiful job of leading us in prayer, and thank you specifically for today, the leading us in the consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Such a beautiful opportunity for us, especially in our Saturday devotions, to be able to highlight different aspects of the gift of the Blessed Mother to all of us. Brothers and sisters, don't forget to join us tomorrow for Breaking Open the Word. And in the meantime, take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.